Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a program called Open Broadcast Software, aka OBS. Now, before I get into the video and tell you guys and show you guys how to use this uh, to record your games on your computer, uh, you probably have heard about OBS before. Your favorite live streamers, maybe even your, some of your favorite YouTubers use this program. Now what is OBS? It is a screen recorder. Um, and what that does, it is enables you to capture your monitor uh, and the games that you're playing through DirectX, OpenGL, or just screen capture or window capture. Now this is very useful for not only recording, but obviously the main thing OBS is used for is live streaming. So this will not cover live streaming. Uh, I might make a video in a week or two from now showing you guys how to live stream using OBS. But I decided I'm going to show um, how to record using OBS simply because I've been using it a lot lately. And I've had issues with shadow play and uh, bandy cam, so I decided, hey, screw those. I'm gonna use OBS. It works right. It works good. So, first thing you should know about OBS, and probably the best thing to know, is that it is absolutely 100% free. And when I say free, I mean no charge, no cost at all. There's nothing you have to pay. It's not a free version. You just click this button, install it, and then you, bam, this is OBS. Now I'm gonna show you guys the settings that we're gonna use. To record a video at 1280 times 720p. Now this works perfectly fine for 1080 as well. Uh, I'm just showing you uh, 1280 simply because <clears throat> the game I'm going to use, for example, uh, I can't run on full screen. I don't have two monitors, so if I the the video capturing would look all messed up for this video. But don't be discouraged. This runs 1080p. Everything fine. Another thing you should know before we get into it is there's two different methods you can use to record your voice. Me personally, I'm using right now to make this video a program called Audacity, which is one of my favorite programs, and I actually have a tutorial on how to use Audacity, which I'll leave a link down below. Now, OBS comes with their own um, implemented mic setting right here, and their game capture setting, which are really, really, they work great. The only reason I use Audacity instead, and the game capture recording from here, it's simply because all the background sound that I have in my house, I have to edit out, and Audacity is the best way for me to do that. Now, you're not interested in any of the things I just said. I'm going to show you how to record using OBS. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to click New, and you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it PC Recording PC Games for YouTube. Let's just name it that. PC games for YouTube, which is basically our recording. All right, now you're gonna need to let me remove that. You're gonna need to add and then name this whatever you want. I'm just gonna call it screen sources. Now this is very important. Uh, I just want my game for what I'm going to uh, show people. I just want to record my game for my let's plays and my videos. I don't really care about images, uh, face cams or anything like that. But I will show you guys somewhat how to use those. So this is the game capture. I'm just going to leave it as game capture. <coughs> as you can see, I have Wolfenstein there. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave it on GeForce Experience. And then if you would like to add a webcam, what you're going to do is go to Video Capture Device. Name it Webcam because that's the best way you can know. I, <laughs> I misspelled webcam, I bet. Uh, this is my Elgato. I'm, obviously, it's not a webcam. It'll pop up here. You can do all your settings here, all that stuff. Uh, and I would recommend having it at like 480-ish because... 1280 1080 the, the square uh, for your webcam will look a little weird and then if you want to add a layout like I do for my twitch streams uh, I'm just gonna name this layout browse to wherever you have your twitch layout I have my twitch layout somewhere now I have my twitch layout right here sorry about that I had an issue uh, and you want to make sure when you're creating these layouts to always have them set as PNGs because uh, if you have JPEG images, what happens is there will be a white background and you will not be able to put your game capture behind this image. But I'm going to show you guys. <coughs> We're going to use uh, this one, for example. OK. And then when I hit preview, make sure that you adjust the layout to the size of your choice. This is for 1080, I believe, or 720. Uh, like I said, the video I'm going to be showing you is 720. Now let's turn that off. Now that you guys know how to add layouts, add webcams, uh, I'm going to show you guys the settings you're going to need. Like I said, we're going to go to settings. We already made it PC games for YouTubes. 
because you know that's what we need now before we go into encoding I'm gonna show you guys the other stuff because there's a few things uh, microphone microphone noise gate this doesn't really matter too much this is all your own personal preference like I said uh, you can change this depending on what you want I don't really mess with this at all I think the settings are perfect as is same thing with my quick sync encoder I don't use this stuff uh, it works perfectly as is now advanced you want to make sure you have all your settings set like this <coughs> Check, check use multi-thread optimizations, priority class, normal, 700 milliseconds, very fast CPU preset, encoding high, uh, UCFR, and then when you go to hotkeys, this is all your personal preference as well. But for me, when I record, I like to actually press hotkey, which for me is F10. Don't ask, it's just what I use for everything. And to stop it, I'm going to use the same hotkey just because I want to just press the same button and not have to use too many. If you hear a dog barking, that is my fault, sorry. Now, you're going to go to audio for your mic options and for your default uh, desktop capturing. Now, here's your microphone. I use an Audio Technica AT2020 USB. So I'm going to click that. And then for my desktop audio capture, this all depends on you as well. Uh, I just leave it on default. I think it works perfectly fine on default. And I'm just going to leave it there. Now we're going to go to video. Like I said, I'm going to be capturing this 1280 times 720p. The reason being is just for this video. Uh, like I said, don't be distraught if you think that this can't run 1080. Uh, it can. I think it can even run above 1080. I'm not sure. Uh, and FPS, I leave at 30 just because YouTube, it's easier to process and a lot easier to render. I think you can now upload 60 FPS videos on YouTube. I'm not too sure if everyone can, but I know they're starting to implement that into their system. So if you have a PC that can run it, 30 FPS, 60 FPS, your choice. Click apply. Now we're going to go to broadcast settings. Uh, <clears throat> this is important. It's going to default be on live stream. You want to change that to file output. The reason being is because if you click live stream, it's, well, it's a live stream. Click file output, it's a recording file. We're going to browse, uh, browse it to wherever you want. I personally uh, record everything to my D drive to a YouTube folder. Uh, and then I have an OBS folder. <laughs> and then this is the video that you're going to be recording, um, the videos that you record. So I'm going to delete that actually. I'm going to name this YTTT tutorial. Uh, and then that's all you need to do there. Apply. Now let's go back to encoding because we haven't done that yet. This is important as well. Uh, really important actually. <clears throat> this is basically the quality of your video. If you think that 1080, 1280 is just your quality, no, this is probably the most important thing besides resolution and audio. Now what we're going to do is make sure um, 264 encoder is checked. You want to uncheck CBR. Depending on your computer, uh, I personally am going to keep it at max 10. Depending on your PC, uh, you have to do this stuff. I wouldn't go below 7. The reason being is because you just don't want your quality to look bad. Nowadays, um, you want to have the best quality you can probably have, which would be 10 if you have a PC that can run it. Now, before we get into encoding, you also want to do your bitrate audio. 96 is horrible. I'm letting you guys know you want to have good audio. That's one of the most important things. I might be sounding a little, you know, hypocritical because I'm pretty sure my mic audio right now isn't that good, but that's just because I don't have a stand, uh, so it's right next to all my noisy stuff. Now, you can have it at 320. This will make file sizes bigger and affect uh, bit rates and encoding as well. Uh, I personally like to keep it at 192. That's just me. I use a stereo microphone, so I'm going to keep it at stereo. Uh, you want to keep this as is. If you have a 48 uh, hertz microphone, keep that. Now, encoding, this is very important. Oh, and make sure you check UCBR after you, you fix your quality balance. Now, max bitrate. This is very important. When you live stream, it's a lot different than when you record. When I live stream, I at my mother's house, I, I stream at about 2,500 bitrate. And at my father's house, I stream at about 13, 1200 to 1500 bit rate. That'll look really bad on a YouTube video. Um, it compresses video files, you know, once you're done with the video. And then you render the video because you're editing it yourself. And then you upload the video. And at the end, the result is not very good. And it will not look as good as it did when you were playing the game or when you were originally looking at that game saying, wow, I am an amazing at this stuff. I make great videos. No, you're going to delete that. And I think you should use no less than 5,000 
depending on how good your computer is and depending on the game. Personally, if you have a decent computer and a good gaming, you know, good gaming rig, I wouldn't use anything less than 10,000. I use about 15,000. And the max I would go is probably about 30,000 depending on your computer. So for the purpose of this, we're just going to stick at good old 10,000. Let me make sure that's 10,000. Yes, it is. Uh, make sure. And then what you want to do before you do anything is click apply again. Go over everything real quick. 10,000, 192. You want to make sure you have everything set correctly. You don't want to mess anything up. Audio, <coughs> hotkeys, advanced. Oh, I forgot advanced. No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Make sure all this is set. Quick soda encoder. This doesn't really matter. Microphone noise gate. This doesn't really matter. Okay, now you're going to want to click OK. Now, this is another thing I have to talk to you guys about. Like I said in the beginning of the video, people use something called Audacity, which is what I'm using. But you don't have to use that. <coughs> As you can see, I have the mic setting here. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little tip before I show you guys how this works. This is your game audio. This is your micro audio. It's pretty obvious. You don't ever want to have your game audio this high. Now, this is a personal um, thing that I would work on yourself. Uh, some people like to have mid-game volume and high mic. Uh, but it doesn't sound very well to me. I want to hear the voice more than I want to hear the game. So what I do is I just make sure that, give me a second, because this thing likes to cover everything. Make sure the game volume is set on full. I have it on mute right now because I don't want any noise in my video. Um, <clears throat> and I set it to anywhere from 10%, no more than 30%. But that's just my personal preference. Sometimes I will set it on about 50%, 60% and then lower it in a rendering program but for the purpose of this we're gonna keep it on 35 ish percent and we're gonna turn this off actually I'm gonna leave this on for you guys and then this is what it would look like it'll have little bars now if I go to preview uh, stream which is the same thing as previewing your recording you will see that this is now huge the reason being is because we switched from 1080 to 1280 uh, so we're gonna need to switch that up so you're just going to want to shrink your layout if you did it and made it 1080 or made it 1280. You just want to shrink that layout. Uh, like I said, I personally don't like using layouts for recording, but I'm just showing you this in case you want to. Because I know some people who record Call of Duty and Battlefield, they actually like to have layouts on their videos. Now, if you're going to go to Game Capture, Properties. Like I said, personal preference as well. You don't have to use Game Capture. You can actually use Window Capture. Game. Uh, and you can select the window that you want open. It's not detecting my Wolfenstein though. I don't know why. And then you're going to click inner window instead of entire window because that shows everything, the X minus and all that stuff. Uh, so we're going to cancel that. I'm going to go to game capture. Properties. I'm going to do Wolfenstein the new order. I'm going to capture mouse cursor. I want all. I don't want anything else here except capture mouse cursor. Uh, this all depends on you as well. I'm going to click OK. Now my game you'll notice is give me a second let me alt tab real quick out of here so you can see my game here's my game 128720 like I said I don't actually play at this resolution this is just showing you guys the video everything works fine now this works really good if you have two monitors by the way it's better for two monitors than one monitor I'll, I'll say that now what you want to do is make sure that everything is working correctly go to properties Wolfenstein the new order click OK preview stream and then there as you can see everything works um, <coughs> this actually helps your encoding as well you want to know this uh, like I said I have mine set on 10,000 and it'll tell you you see 10,096 10,140 uh, and if this drops into the yellow or reds, that is horrible <laughs> if you're recording. For streaming, it's okay if it's in the yellows. But if you're recording and you see yellow, you know you have to change something. And I really strongly suggest changing something. So that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial video. And if you want to learn how to use OBS on live streaming uh, or how to use Shadow Play, uh, let me know in the comments down below and I will have that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this is JJ. Don't forget to check out my latest videos on the Elder Scrolls 6 Things We Want. And I'll see you guys all later this weekend. Peace.